I think if this does go, I think it will be the hardest thing I've ever climbed on a rope. So we're at Cheedale, walking into, we're going to go to Two Tier, we've not climbed there before, but we had a little, looking at it closely, yeah we had a little recce and it looks good, um, so the only way to get to it, you do have to wade across the river, um, which is, well it's alright when you haven't got too much stuff, but we've got quite a lot of stuff with all the camera gear as well, so hoping get across the river without falling in. Well we made it over the river successfully. Didn't fall in with all the camera gear which is always a good start to the day. Still gotta get back. We're still going to get back without getting all the camera gear soaking wet, but yeah. It's uh, always a bonus when you start climbing grass. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I think we're going to start off by trying... Why me? Why me? I think it's why me. Uh, 7C route. It looks, it looks good. Uh, it looks hard. Just stick some drawers in it, see what happens, see if we can work the moves and if it looks like it's something that's going to go or not. So we've been travelling around for the last month or something, five weeks, um, but we're back in the Peak District. Um, so I've come out to try a climb. Um, I tried it about six weeks ago um, and could kind of do the moves, some of the moves, well most of the moves. I think there's only one move I couldn't quite do, um, but I was a pretty long way off from linking in the moves together. Um, just really felt like I didn't have the strength, I didn't have the power that I needed to be able to do do the moves on this very well. Um, so I went away and I've done loads of bouldering and I'm hoping that's up my strength levels, power a bit and see how it feels today. And also it might rain <laughs> at any point. Just to add to the whole... In fact it might have started raining now. Calamity. No. That's just your imagination. Overactive imagination. Well, 
I was hoping I was going to get a bit further on it, but that's climbing. Um, not sure I really felt actually much, if any, stronger. Yeah, just got to get back into the peak limestone ment mentality. Just about managed all the moves other than what for me is the crux, but yeah, it took quite it took longer than I thought to relearn all the beta and um, yeah, feel quite worked now. Far too worked to start making any serious links on it, so. So I've come back to the old project. I haven't tried it for a year, maybe a bit longer. Um, give it a go, see, see how it feels. Um, can't actually remember the beta, so I've got to refigure that and then see if I've got any stronger. Hopefully. <laughs> Well, that's all the moves done. Um, start trying to link them together a little bit more. Um, I can't figure out a way right now to clip the third clip. Um, just, I can barely, I'm barely holding the hold, so trying to clip from them seems, yeah, it seems really hard. I haven't figured out a way of doing that yet, so I've got to work on that. And then I've been getting up to the big move at the top we have to sort of do a quite a throwy move um, but just bottling it on the lead each time so I've been trying to take a few kind of falls on it and gradually increase the the falls just to get try and get my head used to that um, a little bit more still got a bit more to go I haven't quite got brave enough to do the the full big throw move right at the top just feels weird because you've got a quick draw right in front of your face but you just can't clip it there's no there's no way I can clip that so I gotta do the big throw move above it and then clip it afterwards. But it's coming together piece by piece. I'm pretty psyched with that. Um, this is the first time I've really gone for that big throwy move at the top whilst on lead. Yeah, progress. Had to, had to take a lot of falls building up to it to try and gain the com enough confidence to really just go for that move. But that seemed to pay off. Um, although I've only done it once, so I probably need to do it a few more times. But yeah, progress. Happy. It's all the moves done now. Got to just start working on some of the links. Right. I need a rest, so back tomorrow, I guess. All right, so um, been up and putting the clips in on the project, um, but I thought I'd bring you along and show you some of the holds, so you can get an idea of kind of a bit more what the route's like. Is when it's a long shot showing the whole route, it's quite hard to see what the actual holds are like. So this is the first section, so up to the first clip. It's pretty. Steady, easy climbing. Um, Relative. <laughs> just little kind of side pull crimps on these, and then I get this kind of pinch thing here, and then do for me uh, I miss out. I miss out this hold and go direct up to. The, it's kind of a good sloping hold up here.
So once we get the sloop at this hold, the sloofing hold, it's quite a good hold. Um, it's uh, heel, heel up and then come up and get the second clip in. It's a little bit of a pull up, it's not too, too bad for a second clip. Then come across and I'm into this like little mini finger slot here. With that, sort the feet out and then flip into this little undercut thing, which is just it's just not as good as you want it to be. It's like two two okay fingers, two not very okay fingers on the other side of it, and then pinching with the thumb. It's alright, but I'm not very good at undercuts. So uh, I have to use quite a lot of my power up doing that move. And from there I do a big, big reach up and hit this kind of sloping crimp thing that just always feels pretty bad. Here we are, so this is the sloping sloping crimp with the left hand and I was clipping off that with going with the right but um, found that when I was getting to the top my left arm was a lot more tired than my right arm um, and I need my left arm for that last move so I've actually changed it up and been holding the right hand and clipping off that one which seems to be slightly evening up quite how tired each arm is. This right hand is this sort of little slot thing and it should be really good but it's just I don't know if my fingers are quite fat I just can't get my fingers in there very well and there's kind of a, a bit missing out the bottom of it and you just it's just I find it's really hard to hold this little slot thing. It's so hard to hold that and get the hand set in it but that puts you into the crux move then, you've got to really lock off on that right arm. The crux for me is this thing, and you just get this kind of gas on. it's just rubbish, like there's no good way of holding it. It's this kind of polished side pull thing, you try and get like a couple of fingers on and then eke a third on and you try and get your thumb underneath. And it just it never feels good um, and you, because you're kind of pulling sideways on it all the pressure's on the right foot and your left hand but then you've got to move your right foot up which is really hard to do whilst maintaining that tension um, but you need the right foot up to then come into this little undercut thing up here and hit this and again it's just trying to get stood up into that undercut is so powerful it's it's just really hard getting into that undercut so last of the hard climbing so you come up off the undercut don't have this clip in because there's no way I can clip it at all there are these holds out to the left which are quite chalked and Sophie's been using them but they're just more sort of undercuts and I was I was using them initially when I first started working it but I kind of found some beta where I just missed them all out and reached uh, reached parts and I'm not tall like I'm average height um, but it just seemed to be less moves for me so what I do is I go off that big undercut and then hit this thing, this sort of sloping crimp pinch type block. And it's just, it's not good. Like, it's okay in isolation, but coming up, having done the rest of the route, what I just keep finding this left arm's just got no power in it for this last hard move. Um, yeah, and you're kind of up here looking down and that, that last clip suddenly seems a long way, a long way down without this one in. And 
it took me quite a while, took me quite a while to get my head game sorted for that one. Because what you got to do then is from here I, I do a really big, quite dynamic move and hit this sloper, sloping sort of thing here, kind of sloping guppy, and it's just sort of really sloping slides off. Again, it's okay in isolation. I can do it in isolation every time, but doing it when you're tired, when your hand isn't chalked properly, and it's really hard. And then from there, we start getting into some better holds. Um, and then it's just, just a case of not blowing it on that final couple of meters. Yeah, that's it. Sort of a combination of having the power endurance to be able to do these really powerful moves at the end and having the mindset to really throw for that hold um, and kind of accept the going to take a bit of a whip if it doesn't work. But we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it will go. Be nice if it did. Just done first red point today, got all the way up to the crux, um, it's just that move is so hard, like, I did the other moves, the, the start and the finish and things, um, as part of the warm up, and I can do all the moves every time on those sections, but there's just two moves on that crux which are really desperate, so I just got to get, get it just right on those moves really. I think if this does go, I think it will be the hardest thing I've ever cl ever climbed on a rope. I mean, it gets 7C in the old guide, 7C plus in the new guide, um, but we were speaking to a couple of locals and they reckon there's a few 8As that are easier than this. So, I don't know. I find that crux pretty hard. I'm not that good at undercuts, so I'm probably finding it even harder than other types of climb, but I don't know, it feels hard still. Making progress, little gains each time. One more move, I just didn't have the arms left in it and I bottled it a little bit. I just, I was so sure that my arms were done that I didn't really go for that, just that last big move and... Should have, Ah, uh, should have, have, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Next, next time. Next time, next time. Progress, definitely felt the strongest on it that I've uh, felt and pretty happy to have got all the way through the crux, so... You were safe, thanks. Yeah, I think if I I'd got through fun. the crux on one of the earlier red points, I would have had the energy to keep going, but it was right at the end of the day, so... Oh well. Alright, back to the van. Recover. Recover. Grow some skin. Yeah. Grow some muscles. Yeah. And a bit more spine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, back out.
Go away, have a rest, come back, give it another go. How are you feeling today? Hot. Nervous. Still get like red point jitters and things. It is hot today. A lot hotter than it's been the other days. So I think the top might have to come off today. Because it's I get breathe. Yeah. Um, like it was really sweating up there on the warm up, so let's see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it will go. It'll be nice. I guess I've got a good excuse if it doesn't, is the weather's it's it's too hot to be it's too hot to be doing anything really. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Yeah, really good route. Felt totally powered out at the end though, even on like the good holds on the top, just could start to feel just really powered out. I've never struggled holding those holds on any of the other times I've been practicing, but suddenly being up there, it's like doing those last couple of clips just felt really hard. It's a smidge warmer today as well, maybe I'm holding on harder. Yeah, conditions are not good today. It's like we're in the middle of a heat wave and it's really, really hot today, hotter than it's been. And that top sloping cold, uh, when I held it this morning on the warm up, it's the worst it's ever felt. So, pretty happy to get the tick even with the NAF conditions. <sighs> yes. All right. Next. Next. <laughs>